Breaking news. Senator Dino Milai did not graduate with a first class degree from Bay's University. <laughs> Source. Former Kogi West Senator in the 8th National Assembly, Dino Milai, graduated with second class lower division and grappled with several carryovers while studying law at the Bay's University in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Sarah Reporters Lands. The carryover is a common tertiary institution slang used in Nigeria for students who have to repeat a course after failing it the first time. Sarah reporters obtained the base university convocation booklet, which showed, contrary to trending reports, that Milaye finished top of his class, that the senator finished with second class deficient degree. So, told Sarah reporters that Malaye. Milai with matriculation number BU 18B Law 3226 also had carryovers during his degree. Contrary to trending stories that Dino graduated on top of his class with a first class degree, he never did and actually had several carryovers for the period he studied law at base. He barely managed to graduate. One of the source told Sarah reporters, some online reports had claimed that Milaye emerged as the best graduating student of British University, Abuja, despite currently staying in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Milaye's aide, Bodhi Badibo, had posted a picture of him on Facebook alongside other individuals adorned in an academic dress with the caption, Senator Dino Milaye graduates from Bayes University, a much best graduation law student. Despite rarely being in Nigeria after losing his re-election into the National Assembly in 2019 and currently based in Dubai, some reports had claimed that it was surprising that the former senator did only did not only graduate but was awarded the best graduating student with yet to be confirmed grade point average. GPA. Sarah Reporters has confirmed from documents that the former senator did not finish with a first class degree in law from the university. Melaye is not new to academic controversies. Well, in February 2017, Sarah Reporters, in an exclusive report, exposed how Melaye might not have graduated from the Ahmad Bello University as he allegedly bribed the head of the Department Sarah Reporters had also, in March 2017, reported that a schoolmate of controversial Senator Abdusoba Salam, who now works at the Federal University of Agriculture, Belkuta, Funam, spoke against the backdrop of the certificate controversies involving Milai. He, he had said, Permit me to make an intervention on the issues of Dino and Abu having been admitted and graduated from Abu same year as Dino. I use the word graduated very gui guidedly with caution. Permit me to say that as at the time we were admitted geographic department was under the faculty of art and social science in our 200 level the faculty was split and geographic Department had issues where to fit in. It was initially placed under Faculty of Art and later shifted to Faculty of Science, where it is presently domiciled. The narrative on its certificate could be correct. Dino and I supposed to be friends, but differences never permitted while we were in school still date. We communicated we communicate once in a while, but I dare say he is the architect of his problems. I have spent all yesterday responding to inquiries on different platforms about Dino status as a graduate. My take, we were admitted the same year initially into the same faculty of FASS and given that our course were four years, we ought to have graduated same year. However, recalling how studentship in Abu was that period, you could never be too sure of the academic status of any student. What do I mean? We had students who were always around, attended lectures, participated in all student activities, were allocated hostel space, were always holding files and 
verging academic seriousness only for an issue to come up and you would find out that despite your having known them for years they were never students but just lived persuade students lives Salami, who was a former chairman of the Senate Staff Association of Nigeria University at the Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta, Ogun State, said such attitudes of fake students might make it difficult for any of their colleagues to believe that they were not authentic students. If they were never discovered 20 years' time, if a controversy arose as to their status, one would swear confidently that the person graduated why this is not exactly the same with Dino, you cannot be too sure on the fat are on hearted. Hmm. Now, wow. So with the story now, because me, I seriously do not understand. What is Dino Milai's problem with who went to school and who did not go to school? Because me, all this story don't tell you. I don't really have time with all the kind of problems we have in Nigeria. What is our business with whether Dino Milai went to school or not? Is this the kind of problem we want to face in Nigeria now? Because I seriously do not understand what that got to do with Nigerian politics. Because please report something positive that we deliberate human sufficient. Because with all the suffering we are suffering on a daily basis, is this the kind of thing we want to come and be deliberating on? Whether Milayi went to school or not. Whether he didn't go to school, he didn't graduate, it does not really matter because he was once a senator and he has embezzled all the money he can actually embezzled so what has all this report got to do now because he's not helping us at all even melaya himself will be smiling laughing at us where he is now be thinking that what are these people talking about well but he graduated glory be to god almighty what of buari with nothing to showcase globally sir okay but he is a certified graduate right you should allow the peace of god to reign in nigeria please <laughs> Well, this is the problem with all of us in Nigeria, especially the youth. He graduated fine, but must you lie? What does he stand to lose if he speaks the truth? Divided house against itself cannot stand youth. Okay, congratulations to you, dear Milai. Forget about criticism. Buari presented Nepa Bill certificate. <laughs> Sarah reporter supported him then. Nonsense post, okay? Oh, yes. How does this information change the price of cooking gas of 12,000 from <laughs> 8 kg? Well, just imagine. Hey, look at what we are facing in Nigeria. Now, hmm, dare not cook beans in our house because if you do, uh, my father will come and start shouting. How dare you cook beans in this house? Do you know how much gas is worth now? Do you know what it means? For that is for you to know that everything in Nigeria is changing on a daily basis. And you are busy here telling us about Dilo Milai school certificate or where he graduated or where he didn't graduate. Well, all of that is none of Nigeria's problem. Now what we want to tackle is how Nigeria is going to get better and not Milai problems. Because Milai does not even know if gas is expensive now because he has all it takes to take care of himself and his family. So I think we should say something else and leave this useless people alone. Well, you can go to the conversation and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.